Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Teacher Margaret Goodwin came to the Capitol in November to complain. This is the formula. The formula used to rate her effectiveness is based in part on student performance. The problem is that very few people understand how it works. So you were a highly effective teacher. Absolutely. And, and now they're saying you're not. For years. For years and years and years. Because they've gotten such an earful, lawmakers are starting to rethink what they passed and the governor signed in 2011. And I think we're going to have a hard time explaining this to teachers. Senate and, uh, President Don Gates calls the evaluations yeah, flawed. He wants them made more simple well, and you know, understandable. It's very difficult to evaluate teachers uh, based on the performance of students they don't have. That's just one example that seems to make a lot of sense. Even Governor Rick Scott, who wants everything measured, is questioning the validity of the formula. I talk to teachers every day. They believe in accountability. Uh, they want it to be fair. Senate Democratic leader Chris Smith says it's another case of, we told you so. This is something we can't just piecemeal and piecemeal and someone comes up with it. We have to find the perfect model to be fair to all teachers. And educators say the problem is simple. Uh, basically, Florida made a decision that they wanted to be first as opposed to getting it right. And because they spoke out, teachers will now get a second chance to prove their worth. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Nassalinda reporting.